good morning students this class is about symptoms taxonomic characters and life cycle of pyricularia oraceae in this class we will study about pyricularia oraceae uh, and their taxonomic characters asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction so pyricularia oraceae which cause rice blast pyricularia oraceae comes under kingdom fungi phylum ascomycota class Sordariomycetes, order Incertacides. Incertacides is not known. Uh, not known. Uh, family Magnoporthaceae, genus and species Magnoporthae graeceae. So, uh, Magnoporthae graeceae is a synonym of Pyricularia oraceae. Rice blast, uh, Pyricularia oraceae, which causes rice blast disease, one of the important diseases in rice plant. Symptoms Leaf blast, uh, there are uh, three types of blast in rice. First of all, leaf blast, it will mainly infect the leaves. Leaves so spindle shaped spots or eye shaped spots with grey center and brown margin. So, we have leaf la the brown margin and the grey center uh, spindle shaped spots. Irukkum. Then, nodal blast, uh, it, it also infects the nodes. Node infect one it becomes black. Then, neck blast, neck means uh, the junction of um, node and uh, stem and uh, panicle region. So, stem and panicle are the neck and neck. Uh, neck also become black. So, first of all, leaf symptom a blast of rice, uh, eye or spindle shaped spots. You can see the eye or spindle shaped spots in leaves with grey center and dark margin. Then, this is your nodal blast. Uh, mainly infect the nodal region first one the dark brown color larukun. next it become black next neck blast uh, it will in also infect the neck region and produce the neck blast symptom so in fact neck uh, it gives the topals down symptom the name of pyricularia or i say mycelium is highly septate intercellular at first and later on intracellular young hyphae uh, colorless later become olivaceous so olivaceous color la irukum okay uh, it will produce geniculate conidia for uh, the tip la vandu lighta bent a irukum and it will produce uh, septate uh, conidia with hilum so hilum gara or projection odai idu produce pannum so hilum uh, that is attached with conidia for and the hilum region la da enna agun pathina conidia for oda attach a irukum then telium of stages magnoporthae grace in magnoporthae grace it will produce perithesium pear shaped perithesium or pyriform shaped perithesium uh, and perithesium contains ascus and ascospores ascospores are hyaline four celled fusiform shaped one okay va so namakku vandu four celled a irukum four cell na three septation moonu septation irundhuchuna adha four cell irukku nu artham and it is a fusiform shaped one Life cycle of pyricularia oraceae, uh, conidia will germinate and produce the aprosorium. So, aprosorium produced when it, through that it infects the uh, plant through infection hyphae and it will produce three types of uh, blast and uh, it break the epidermis layer. So, epidermis layer break when it, it will produce conidia 4. Uh, either through uh, break the epidermis or through stomata. So leaf for a stomata mulima namakku conidia for uh, uh, produce pannu and, and it is a geniculate conidia for pathing na tip lo vandu light up bent a irukku then it will produce uh, conidia with the hilum ok ingla this is where asexual cycle sexual cycle pathing na uh, this is where um, heterothelic fungi heterothelic fungi na male and female thani thani mycelia idhil irukkum and it will produce uh, pear shaped or pyriform shaped perithesium and it contains assay ascospores are fusiform shaped and four celled ascospores are germinate and produce the uh, symptoms at favorable conditions the life cycle of pyricularia or i say uh, in brief explanation germination of conidia and formation of mycelium then infection and symptom production formation of conidia 4 and conidia so sexual reproduction la pathina it is a heterothelic fungi two type of mating types present in separate mycelium Produce perithesia with assay and hyaline, four celled, slightly curved ascospores. So, on the light of curve, I The asexual reproduction the mycelium of the fungus is highly septate, intercellular at first and later on intracellular. First intracellular, then inside inside the cells, cellular. Next, young hyphae are colorless, later become olivaceous. First, on the colorless, next, olivaceous color. 
After growing inside the host tissue, the conidiophores emerge through stomata or break through the epidermis. Already we told about uh, uh, germination of conidiophore. It emerges through stomata or break through epidermis. The conidiophores are unbranched and bear conidia at the tips. So, we will tip the conidia produce. After one conidium falls, the conidiophores may elongate and bear another apical conidium. So, first one conidium produce pani, that is send down the third one, the conidia elongate. Elongate at the tip of the third conidium produce pani. By this process, the conidiophore become geniculate. So, geniculate na light a valinger kum. The conidium has a slight projection called helum at its base. Where it is attached to the conidiophore. So, we the conidiophore is conidia yenai reda yenan padina, hilam abdin solranga, chinna projects and rukum. As spores reach maturity, the apical cell wall of the conidium breaks open and a droplet of viscous sticky material is produced while the conidium is still attached to the conidiophore. So, the lyric viscous uh, sticky material and nagun padina and the conidium and the conidiophore are attached to the This material serves to attach the conidium to the wax covered host surface. Upon contact, then the conidia are disseminated by wind and to a limited extent by other agencies. So, we mainly spread through wind. Under favorable conditions of temperature and moisture, the conidium germinates by means of germ tube from the top and bottom cells, usually which ends in bulged dark brown structure called aprosorium and form this structure an infection hyphae is produced. So, we uh, from this uh, aprosorium it will produce infection hyphae. The aprosorium is a doom shaped cell with a highly differentiated cell wall structure which is rich in chitin and contains a layer of melanin on the inner side of the wall. So, we uh, will say that doom shaped aprosorium. So, this is about your pyricularia or I say, very simple. So you can answer this uh, fill in the blanks. So rice blast is caused by pyricularia or I say pyricularia comes under magnoporthesia family. Uh, perithesium is a sexual fruiting body produced by magnoporthe. Then spindle shaped spot is produced by pyricularia or I say perfect stage of pyricularia or I say is magnoporthe grace. So this is about your pyricularia grace, uh, pyricularia or I say or magnoporthe grace. Thank you.